Hey guys, it's Action Jackson, and today I got a special guest. I got Mr. Lewis of OFC. How you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Uh, I just want to say thank you for doing this. Uh, thank you for your, for your time. I really value and appreciate it. And um, we could just kick it off by just Tell, tell the folks, like, how was it for you, like, growing up, like, childhood? Like, where, where, where you from and, like, what was your, your early childhood like? Okay. My name is Marvin Alfonso Lewis, and I was born in McKinney, Virginia, a small town south of Petersburg, about 30 miles from. And we had a small house very small house. It was 13 of us, 11 girls and two boys. We never all lived in the house in McKinney at one time. It would have been very difficult to house all of us considering we only had uh, two bedrooms with 13 kids. Imagine that. And um, we were not poor, poor, when we were starving and not eating. But we uh, didn't have very much. And, and um, like TVs and it wasn't many going around during those days. And we didn't have a TV. We didn't have. Um, electricity, we had candle lights early on, and uh, we used coal to heat the home, and um, wood to heat the home. We had to go outside and, and gather wood and that type of thing. Um, then I remember going to school, starting in first grade. I can actually remember this. I was six year old and my mother took me out and pointed to the school. It was walking distance. And I walked to the school. And when I got in the school yard, um, I was so bashful. I turned around and ran all the way back home. And I remember my mother taking me back to school and getting me in the classroom. <laughs> and uh, that was something that has stuck with me throughout the year. When I was in the elementary school, uh, I was in class with a lot of bright kids. They were extremely smart. And I wasn't one of the brightest students in there, but I was there and I um, hung in with them and, and passed on to the next grade. I remember that. It's, it's uh, hard for me to see you not being one of the brightest students now. Well, I guess I matured over the years and uh, became smarter with time. Uh, repetition and life itself, you know. And, and another thing, I don't think I applied myself and paid attention. I had a short attention span and, you know, it was boring for me. <laughs> Class was boring, you know. So I didn't... Uh, you know, make the A's and the B's like they did. I was C average, very average. But these kids were, for the most part, I remember being above average. Do you think like your mind was just working, like thinking of bigger things than just what was on the paper? Like like you had a very active brain at an active age? It could have been a, that's a good possibility because uh, they were teaching Sally Rand, Jack Jump, 
and you know a bunch of white people on the uh, pages nothing I could really relate to you know and and you know all of us were black we were in a segregated school never knew that yeah segregated school there was no whites allowed um, I mean <laughs> they wouldn't come and we weren't allowed to go to their school we had to uh, attend separate schools. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. I guess I never asked you about that, or we just never talked about that. Yeah, yeah. Because me, you know, my generation, we don't even think about, like it's not a, a thought in my mind. Yeah. But to be at an age where that's a memory, a memory that you live, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. And um, <clears throat> you couldn't, Okay, the elementary school ran from one through seven. And didn't have K. You started out in the first grade and you went to the seventh grade and then you graduated to high school. And high school was eight through 12. I remember going, to, going into high school. I was in the eighth grade you we had to travel then i couldn't no longer walk to was you bus to school i was on a bus but okay. i wasn't really bused you know it was routine for us to go uh 13 miles to our high school it was about 13 miles from my hometown mckinney it was in deeper into dinwiddie they call it the South Side area, you know. Is that the same as Crew? No. Oh, not the same. Okay. Crew is another town with another school. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but we played against Crew in sports. Yeah. I played sports in high school. I played mostly basketball. I was a pretty good basketball player, one of the best on my team, if not the best. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> I'm not saying that because it's uh, me, but because it's true. And uh, if you could find some of the guys that uh, played on my team, they would tell you the same thing if they were honest. Uh, I got a question with the basketball, like, yeah. Was there opportunities for y'all to go further with that during during that time? Like if you were good at basketball, was there scouters and, and stuff back then who could take you to the professional league? Yeah. Back then, it was very difficult okay. to go further with uh, sports. First of all, you were a small school out in the country you know if anybody was looking for basketball players during that time they were looking in the larger cities at larger schools now I don't know of anybody during the time I was coming up that actually made it to the league but later on in life it was a young man by the name of Moses Malone who lived 30 miles from us who made it to the, to the league. But he was much younger than I. I see, like a different. I yeah, see. it was during a different time. That was when things were changing. They were being integrated now. Ah. No more segregation. <clears throat> you know, that type of thing. Because I, I remember a man, I, I know he's not from VA, um, was it Jim Brown, the famous football player who, yes. who became an, an actor? Right. I just remember him being a very popular, you know, person yeah. from, you know, that Back time. But that I don't time. know if he maybe came at a time after you were done with, you know, school. He came before me, I believe. Maybe he's an anomaly, you know. But he... I don't know what college he went to. 
Mm-hmm. I don't know what town he came from, <clears throat> but there were opportunities for some people. You know, the larger cities, mm-hmm. larger towns, <clears throat> they really looked at uh, uh, those type of people, you know, and it still was very difficult for them to break into the league. I mean, not impossible. Nothing is impossible. But uh, the difficulty is still there.